Perfect start to conference play for the UTEP women's basketball team. ABC 7's Nate Ryan is joined by head coach Kevin Baker about the Miners' chances to make some real noise this year. Well, the dawn of a new year and a new season for the UTEP women's basketball team. Welcome inside the ABC7 studio for a weekly coaches show sponsored by Speaking Rock. Joined now by UTEP head women's basketball coach Kevin Baker. Coach, happy new year. I'm sure you're probably glad to spend it here home in El Paso. Yeah, hey, thanks. Happy New Year. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be here and playing some basketball and staying COVID free in the new year and putting a good product on the floor for us El Pasoans. It's been a great year so far. Uh, a big confidence boost for your club as well, too. Now a 2-0 and start to conference play, two wins over Southern Miss. How big is that uh, for your team's mentality? Well, you know, just getting off to a great start. You know, we, we talk about it so much. Coaches always talk about how important it is to get off to a, a fast, quick, good start. We were able to do that. When we looked at the schedule and saw that we were going to be playing the first two uh, games at home, we were excited about that, and uh, we played well. We played well, and, and hopefully we can continue that trend as we hit the road. How's the Friday-Saturday schedule gotten to start for you here in Conference USA? Obviously a bit awkward given years past, but you, you guys are sort of working on the weekend, I guess, now. Uh, talk to a little bit about the weird scheduling for you. Yeah, it, it's tough. It, it, it really is tough. It's, it's made us look at practicing differently, preparing differently, almost like a football team where you put a whole week of preparation in for the weekend, you know, and, and then you've got to have depth. I mean, that's the biggest thing you got to have this year because we press and we play for 94 feet for 40 minutes every time we go out there. We better have some depth because on that Saturday game, we're going to have some tired legs. And we're going to need everybody out there who can produce for our team. So it has really uh, been a challenge for us. And we've only, we've only done it one time and, and uh, so far this season. But even that was a tremendous challenge for us. And we've got a few more ahead, of, eight more just like it ahead. So we better get ready. Well, you guys, regardless, sitting at three games above 500 at five and two into Conference USA schedule as we're talking. But your next opponent, probably not a, a Conference USA <laughs> team if you look at them on paper. The Rice Owls, they're one of the best teams in the, in the country. Yeah, they, they really are. Tina Langley does a terrific job with them. She's the only team they've lost to all year has been A&M, and that was by a couple of points. They probably should have won that game, too. Um, we're going to have our hands full, but I love challenges like this. We're going to go down to Houston. We don't have anything to lose. We have a very young team, and we're going to go get after them. You know, we're going to do what we do, and uh, hopefully it'll be good enough. You know, they haven't really played a team yet that plays our style where we play up tempo for 40 minutes and press the whole game. So we're hoping that that style will bother them some. And um, they're a great team. They're so well coached. But I love an early challenge like this. It's sort of a, a great measuring stick for our team. And you guys are on the road, but you just talked about staying in the ball game. That's something you guys did with Rice last year here at the Haskins Center. And that was the Rice team that was playing with a WNBA draft pick. Are you going to look at last year's film at all? Or does your team have that performance last season at the Haskins Center knowing they can compete with the Owls? Yeah, we, we've already watched that game to make us feel good about our chances going in this week. We, we, we hit the rewind and went back and watched that. We were really close. And I remember saying after that game that... Our team was really close and we're almost there. We're ready to take the next step. Hopefully this team can do that on Friday. Take the next step, get up into the top four of Conference USA, and uh, that'll certainly be a shot in, shot in the arm for our program. The buzz is real with the UTEP women's basketball team. A big test this weekend in Houston. Miners taking on the Rice Owls. We'll see you this weekend. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.